think a very much needed break after that first <laughs> series guys welcome back to the vct presented by nerd street gamers and we are in for uh, another solid treat dust we've got two incredibly hungry teams that have the absolute most to prove here in this losers bracket yeah i mean i feel like these are the two teams that most people have rated number one and number two in north america you know for a substantial period of time for the north american region maybe you don't think that now but certainly a couple of months ago you certainly did after first strike and several of the other events that we had kind of ending out 2020 so yeah these are two of the best teams that we have in our region and now they are going toe to toe for another slot in the biggest tournament we've seen so far in valorant and that is going to be the first masters event here in the vct and you have an 100 these team who weren't able to put forward their full lineup in the first challengers event right they had to have you know a stand in for nitro was such a key piece of that team and uh they weren't even able to make it to the main event now here in challengers 2 they have something to prove that they're back in action with nitro things are right back to where they need to be and they're looking to, to strike and you have a sentinels team who just took a huge loss to envy they have to dust that off and focus back up and, and play against a team that has given them trouble in the past right i mean 100 these beat them twice during the first strike process including at the main event uh though sentinels were able to beat 100 thieves at the jbl quantum cup uh which is uh, the more recent time that they faced each other but it's still been over two months since these two teams have played against each other and a lot has changed since then i would imagine so this is going to be this is going to be spicy man let's just put it how it is like I, i'm just ready to sit back and watch it yeah 100 percent. and i would i would argue that sentinels probably don't want to do this again they don't want to have <laughs> to run through the losers bracket like they did sure they're up for the challenge are they going to get it done absolutely that's just the sentinel way we're going to try to get it done but you have such this time not that the losers bracket was really ever easy but i think when you look at what we saw in the last one i believe it was you know nrg and box of teams that were kind of getting bumped down in the first challengers this one is now 100 thieves who have made their way this far and again are incredibly hungry but with all this VCT talk, we do have to talk about other events that are going to be popping up for you guys, and that is going to be the Nerd Street Gamer Summer Champs. If you miss Winter Champs, well, guess what, guys? You get a chance to run it back and do it again. Summer Champs are coming up this August, and you can qualify by registering for the next tournament at nerdstreetgamers.com forward slash Valorant. Guys, start your road to Summer Champs by registering for the qualifier starting this March, which we're just about to get to. Make sure you guys secure your spots because those spots fill up fairly quickly and again that's nerd street gamers nerd st gamers.com forward slash valor now coming back to the meat and potatoes of the vct we do have those maps ready for you guys and dust you said it i think during the break before we hopped in we're not gonna see split and that's exactly what we're looking at in this we're not seeing split I mean, I would have been absolutely shocked if somehow <laughs> Split came through. There's no way 100 Thieves were allowing that guy through. They have had a lot of struggles on that one. Uh, and so they will go ahead and uh, get it off the board. So we'll kick things off on Ascent with 100 Thieves on the attack after picking the map. Then Haven will be picked by Sentinels. They'll be on attack there. And then if we need it, it'll be Icebox. And uh, yeah, I I'm really liking this map pool as a viewer. I mean, these are certainly... Uh, you know, with our first two maps here going to be on a Sentinel Haven, kind of the, the cream of the crop, I guess you could say, of Sentinels. I mean, that's uh, two of their best maps as far as the amount of times they've played it, the amount of success that they've had. I'm sure they would mm. love to play Split against 100 Thieves. Don't get me wrong, because that, that's really kind of their red and butter, but they are really strong on a Sentinel Haven. And we, with 100 Thieves, we know that they aren't great on Split. They don't have much of a sample size to speak of on Icebox yet. But, uh, you know, a Sent and um excuse me sorry ascent and the other map coming in here uh on haven is definitely some of their better maps right like yeah. it's some of the maps that they've put a lot of success on so yeah i mean i think this is kind of fun for us as viewers because we get to see both these teams you know be capable of putting their best foot forward as far as map familiarity fluency and just uh you know playing to their strengths yeah, and I mean, if you're looking as far as maps go, best case scenario for 100 Thieves is take away split because I feel like there's been zero effort into wanting to actually play that one when you can just ban it away and make Icebox your very last map. Should you get there, then things look a little bit dicey. But to kick things off, the map pick coming out, it is going to be Ascent with Sentinels defending and it's 100, it's 100 Thieves map pick here. So it's a map that typically tends to slip away we just saw it slip away earlier in the day and that's a good spot that's a good way for 100 thieves to get yeah. again momentum going forward and yesterday their series against lg 
I mean, that is just not something that you're expecting one uh, 100 Thieves to lose. Although mm -hmm. the gap is closing, they, yeah, they you really know, have a whole lot to prove. Kind of to tie into that, it's actually wild to think that this 100 Thieves team has still only really played like three events together. Think about it. They played the first strike process together. So the two qualifiers and then the main event, which they won. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously coming out hot. That was their first event, you know, with the new lineup, you know, after they completely rehauled the team. Then they played JBL Quantum Cup, and then they played this event, Challengers 2. As far as their full lineup, right? They had Silent X in for Challengers 1. So this is still only their third tournament together as a full five-man lineup. That's kind of wild to think. Now, granted, they've done a lot yeah. in those events to get you really feel like this team is one of the best out there. But, I mean, they I still think that they have a lot more to, to, to fight for here, whereas Sentinels, you know, they have the more extended resume. Right, and a lot of that resume has been gold. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. That's for sure. See the compositions in front of us. Steel going to be playing at that Killjoy Asuna, looking to get a little crazy mm. on the Reina here. Things pretty defaulted across the board. You got the Jet Offers for both Shazam and Dicey, and, and Sick playing three or four different agents on the day <laughs> here. Going to be on that Phoenix, and that's something. There's two statistics that are kind of uncharted statistics. One of them being being able to buy space and buy time. You talked about Sinatra doing it on the Reina, where you get a nice dismiss and you start moving in, in ways where the opposition needs to start paying attention to you. And then your teammate picks up kills, right? That is mm. that statistic in, you know, buying space and buying time. And then you also have the flexibility. And I think that sick doing what he does, playing as many agents. And that goes across the board for Dapper as well, right? Picking up the Sage when he needs to. And it's just... The versatility from the Sentinels roster is just ever impressive, and we'll see if that's going to be enough as we kick yeah. things off here. Map number one on Ascent, guys. The winner qualifies for Masters. The loser has to try again in Challengers 3. I think the other big thing about this matchup, man, is that we have so many top 10 players in the server right now for the region. Like, all these guys are so incredibly good, and we're starting off with that bang, a quick exchange inside the A site here. As Asuna and company don't feel quite comfortable planting that spike just yet, and they never will. Sinatra and Sick coming, blitzing in there, slicing and dicing 100 Thieves up and taking the round. That was a quick one. And again, I expect a lot of these rounds will be, we already know how aggressive prone Sentinels are as a unit. I would say 100 Thieves are a bit more balanced. I think that they have a bit deeper of a playbook, but they also can just go out there swinging at the same time. Like they are not afraid to be just as ferocious and feisty as as the Sentinels mm. or an Envy or some of the more aggro teams in our region. So definitely could see a lot of early fire around, or excuse me, a lot of early round fireworks, just as you saw there. Sentinels looking to make a statement, picking up that pistol, only losing one Sinatra. Trying to find some free damage at the start of the round again. Force up here, Stingers, typically across the board, 400 Thieves Steel usually opts in picking up that sheriff and we'll see if he can get anything done with that revolver from downtown now asana left on the lurk here as 100 thieves mm -hmm. continue to just play this slow style you see how much damage was given to steel though from that aries yeah asana kind of just locks down this b lobby area which allows them to set up a splitting option if they're able to get that deeper mid control and start prying open that market space that is maybe what they're even considering doing here. That, or again, maybe he can put the solo pressure on the site while they actually double back and split A site through Catwalk. So they have a couple different options. It seems like they want to go the B split route here. Lear's coming out. Market control not taken, though, from others. They actually have to back off and Asuna gets shut down in the B lobby. So 100 Thieves running out of options here, and they're running out of players as they're already down four on five, and Steel is very low on health. Very low from the start of that round as they look to make a push. Nice kill is going to secure seconds. the damage that came through onto Steel. And Shazam is there to find Player another. Standing. The Stinger's not paying off this time around. And it's looking like it's going to take until round number four between before 100 Thieves hop back or try to hop into that win column. Hiko been clutch before, but 13 seconds. Five yeah. players to worry no. about. Stop. <laughs> Only don't even. Don't, I don't that. even want to hear it. No, it's not happening. <laughs> All right, calm down. Like, I know he's a great clutcher, but let's be realistic. He is going to be able to pick up a stinger at least. Maybe try to get a frag. Get something going his way. Not quite. Just carrying the stinger over. Which honestly, I feel like dying there would have been great. I know that sounds odd, but 
more value there than what the stinger's worth. But at least it gets them something to work with this round on, at the same time. Like, they have the stinger, they have the marshal now on Dicey. They can still full by next round no matter what. Uh, and they'll have the sheriffs in play. I'm interested to take a peek as this round kind of progresses to see what the utility is going to look like, right? That full loss bonus puts you up to 3,900-ish credits, I think, at the very least for Asuna there and Hiko as well, who's nearing that Hunter's Fury. But, you know, the drone's expensive. That stuff gets pretty pricey as a whole, so we'll see what they can pick up. Hopefully in this one, in terms of kills, the Shazam holding it down towards mid. There's also a trap wire here, so they're knocking it up for free and to kick things off. Sick to find the first kill, that Stinger from downtown. And when you can't match Stinger for Stinger, obviously the Stinger comes out on top. But right now at the, the state of the game, so many of these early rounds does feel 50-50 because both teams, even the winning side, is picking up Stingers. Yeah, I mean, the Stinger meta that we're seeing, which is going to be eradicated here very soon, I think, with some of the changes that have happened that aren't implemented just yet in the patch that we're on, uh, might change some of that going forward. Same with, like, the, you know, effectiveness of Reyna, I think, will also get very much reined in uh, as well as a long-term thing. As sick as just, you know, he's having a little bit of a time. He's just DMing a little bit here out in the middle. He's had a couple of kills. Still able to strike back on the Shazam, as well as take sick out. So all of a sudden, 100 Thieves are posing a small threat here. If Asuna can find this kill at Cat, it could get even more spicy, but no, now he's getting run down by Dapper. He's even gonna oh. maybe get knife, but Zombs absolutely robs his teammate <laughs> of that opportunity. Shame on you, sir. Shame. We all wanted it. You wanted it. I wanted it. <laughs> yeah. The viewers wanted it. The guy with the giant sword wanted it. We all did, and then Zoms absolutely denied us all. Zoms, never mind. I'm not, I'm, you're a cool guy. Much love. I just see I see the uh, the diehard Zoms fans just spamming Zoms Nation, stealing that one away from Dapper. As much as we would like to have seen the knife, you know, I'm I'm a huge fan of actually seeing the aftershock kill. So if we ever get a breach, I want to spot out a couple of those. They feel more rare nowadays than those actual knife kills. And as we are on round four, we've got full weapons across the board, 400 mm -hmm. thieves. And we'll see what they can get done with it because the last three rounds have been pretty underwhelming on a map that I expected them to really come out swinging and, and right. get a good advantage over Sentinels. Sure. And again, 100 Thieves is that team that's definitely prone to sometimes like slow it down, play a more traditional default out and just kind of play the mid control or play like some lobby control and just kind of, you know, take their time. But Sick is going to try to run it back in here and disrupt things. He's going to charge up middle. But 100 Thieves did a really good job of tucking in and not really giving Sick a look. And so he gets hmm. really no value out that all except for maybe a bit of intel. But not so much, right? I mean, there's still a lot of time on the clock, still a lot of room for 100 Thieves to pivot. And so, yeah, that was really well managed by 100 Thieves. Sick, though, still trying to put up a fight here at Cap. But again, 100 Thieves aren't really giving it to him. But he is slowing down the attack overall. And so the clock can come back and haunt 100 Thieves. That's one problem with playing the slower default style, is sometimes you can just run yourself down to the wire. Any one thing that goes wrong ends the round, and well, that is it. <laughs> Name a better duo than Sentinels finding double kills off of lineups or finding lineups there. 100 Thieves not expecting that at all. One I got right one. behind the other. And what is it? Our commentary. Is it? Pretty good duo. Okay. Okay. I do like that. I thought you were going to say Shazam with the op. And that's I mean, a good one, maybe, too. We'll throw that one out there. Sick with the multi kills, sick with the 4Ks. And it feels like there's actually so many duos that really match the. Uh, there's the there's a lot of great duos. Lineup. Yeah. Shout out to DDK and Sean Gares, another great duo yeah. in Valorant. Apparently, Uber and Nothing going to be a duo tomorrow. That's Ooh, been announced yeah. out on Twitter. That's going to be a hot duo as well. Um, Veli and Memes, you know, pretty good combo. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of combos in Valorant. We'll, we'll stop now, though, because, I mean, we got to commentate the game. So, get on to that. Yeah, in this round, though, is, I mean, not a whole lot to write home about unless 100 Thieves do something incredible and Sorry, sick bro. back to his multi Is he, is he ever just going to chill? Is his yeah, sick seriously. ever just going to take... Uh, he will now because he's dead, so he'll definitely <laughs> take a breather until next round, but he's he's been popping off. And that's not the, that's not the start to... Uh, your Herculean round if you're going to have one. Another lineup. Shazam only going to get one. Hiko trades it back with the Sheriff. 
And they've actually opted. They have stingers, but both kills have come from the sheriff. Dap looking to run them down, but Sinatra with the Phantom to lock down this A site. Sentinels up five to zero. Hunter Thieves coming, they're sleeping. Looks like they're off the couch here. More like a hundred Z's right now. Yes, more like I'm gonna that. pay for that one a hundred percent. I'm gonna but you know what? Look, if you're gonna give me some trouble on Twitter, at least throw me a follow at the same time. So, you know, like out you know, good trade. But I, I doubt I doubt that slumber will last for long, is why I say that. I do feel mm -hmm. like a, any moment now a hundred these will get out there and start implementing their will, because they are quite the unit. Some might say an absolute unit. You should run. Things get a little easier with that lockdown. No real answer coming on through is Dicey. Going to find that first kill. And that is one of very few kills that 100 Thieves have found for themselves. As they look to push on the back end. It, it's crazy. It's still not safe. They use the lockdown. The A site cleared for the most part as far as lockdown coverage goes. But they're still cautious to walk on through. They send Sick back to the ultimate. 100 Thieves have to figure out something here. It's their second full buy round. The tag comes through. The shots come down. Asuna taken off the board. Steel is able to trade it back. The spike yet to be planted. Steel still holding on to that one as Dicey gets spotted out by the recon bolt. The turret will fall, and there has been zero feint. There it is. The spike now looking to get planted. It's a 4v3 for 100 Thieves. The champ Shazam goes up top, and Dicey to sit him down. The RKO off the top ropes. And as you stated, Dust, the slumber doesn't last long. 100 Thieves in the win column. Oh, man. Yeah, like you said, this is 100 Thieves finally rolling out of bed and throwing down some Valorant. And that was a massive round. I feel like that's what's really could get the win on their sails and really get them going. What a fantastic maneuver from 100 Thieves to get onto the scoreboard. And can they build off of this now? That's the question. This is okay. That was looking a little spooky. We saw the last time that that played out. Nitro was able to find some damage as the op shots. It goes leg for leg across the map there. Both jet ops going to be low on HP. So maybe not a round that we see the knives coming out from Dicey. And a Skyless comp, a Sageless comp. No heals to be coming on through. It's a bit of mid control. Austin are looking to push on through. There is a trap wire there, but should stunt it. And there's the spray coming down. Steel gonna fall this time around. It's not just damage, it's going to be the kill. 100 Thieves on the back foot. Yeah, success short lived as they take a big step back in this round. They are starting to get some mid control, however. They cleared out the trap wire. They're starting to get into market as well. The defense hasn't really quite rotated yet, so they do have a timing window here to strike. But oh, Zapper! He's taking Dicey down through the window. What an absolute play from him. 100 Thieves trying to use Asuna anyway to hinge open this A site, but Dapper will just not stop. He is crushing 100 Thieves on this B site. Just holding it down. Hiko in a 1v4 now needs to try and figure something out, but instead it's a 4k for the Cypher. 100 Thieves back in the loss column, and I mean, the losses look so dominant. Sentinels really firing on all cylinders. I, I would say Dude. sick, but then Dapper closing the gap. Dude, I want to see the shot from Dapper again. Later, Dicey. Oh. One tap, dirt nap in midair. My goodness, sir. Take a bow. I can't. That's wild. We. That's pretty good. Imagine you're Dicey and you're feeling real cheesy up in midair about the dagger someone on the site and unlock a way in and then you just have that one done to you and, and i thought we wouldn't see the daggers because of the low hp shazam this time not gonna be the leg it's gonna be the body found of asuna with the operator nets a kill and 100 thieves on the back but again it's an eco round so not a whole lot going for him sure and steel gonna go wide on the shots and it just feels so impressive. Dicey actually able to pick one up. So not necessarily out of the woodworks. Make it even. Dicey finds two. A site not free just yet as a paranoia comes down. Spike once more yet to be planted. And Dapper sneaks on through the neural theft to get the info. But Nitro still alive. Nitro is Mr. Multi-Kill. 
just to match unfortunately not enough and Hiko this is it's looking back to be the 1v5 with the ghost just an uphill battle and they can't find a way in I tell you what, if Sentinels were any type of funk after having a tough loss to Envy that went the distance, they certainly were able to shake it off really fast because they are coming in hot and heavy here on Ascent. Sick has been incredible throughout this game. 13 kills already. He's been absolutely on fire with his mid-aggression. Dapper just had a hell of a quad kill round a, a moment ago to shut down an attack from 100 Thieves on the B site. So you're seeing individuals step up at different points in time for Sentinels to get them right back on track for a master slot, which is very much up for grabs here in this series. And this is one of the biggest leads we've seen in a while for any of our teams. Uh, you know, obviously the last series was very back and forth. This has been all but that. And Sick is just, he's just no chill. Yeah. And How does he keep is... doing it? And Sinatra too. This is arguably one of the scariest scenarios to find yourselves in it's uh sentinels team firing on all cylinders and coming off of a loss they start to turn on this is exactly what we saw in challengers one they're doing it again in oh challengers my. two they find another kill they just can't lose the fights dust no sick is literally just doing whatever in the world he wants so far here on descent he has taken so many engagements off that catwalk and won them and i mean if you're a team like 100 thieves that you know is privy to kind of playing like a 1-3-1 mid control and you keep getting disrupted like that in the first steps of the round it just really knocks you off your game it kind of forces mm. you to maybe start going to some of your more aggressive burst type strategies which 100 thieves has plenty of like make no mistake when they've been successful during the first strike process and some of the other events they've played in with this lineup they are no strangers to just letting players loose like asana in particular who's a very strong entry fragger and just plowing it you know just running it down your throat and, and trying to play that more assertive style they're very capable of switching to that gear and i imagine it's got to come soon because they're getting crushed right now on attack trying to play this uh map control style another huge round too it's a full buy and you need to try for the eight to four something as sick not necessarily going to be answered 100 that run it back be used and he will be sent back from once he came ultimates available that is going to be from the shadows nitro looking to clear out this site spots out sinatra so they know the odin is here that lmg looking to keep things nice and snug on this site but 100 thieves starting to battle back two quick kills to come on through sinatra now in a bad spot as he's tagged out through the wall though he's gonna find a kill and dapper picks up one on top of it all and we are dead even once more as Dicey makes me eat my words, nothing is free here for 100 Thieves. Steel goes for the heroics. He's able to find it. And it's all up to Dapper now. A 1v3. But we've seen him pick up multi-kills just earlier in this game. 45 seconds and 100 Thieves on the rotate. Oh, Steel misses a chance to close out the round there. And then Again. another one goes against him here. Dapper just holding his ground. Steel, though, buying time for the spike to transition to A site. But if he could have just cut Dapper off, it would have been a done deal without too much struggle. Now they have to work a bit harder for it, though they still are very much in the advantage with these two players still standing. But they are kind of isolated from one another. Dapper sniffs it out correctly. He could get two 1v1s and maybe still pry this round back open. It's not going to be an easy task, but it's certainly possible. And see if the door had been closed yet. He is not going to opt into that situation. He's going to push up towards Wine and Nitro to sit him down. Wow. A uh, hundred Thief fans had to be holding their breath. They get yeah. back in the win column. But, I mean, at what cost? It took an incredible round across the board. I can't believe this, man. Asuna only on one frag right now. And he's normally their initiator, right? Like, not the actual Valorant role initiator. But you get my point. Like, he's the one that's usually mm -hmm. opening up space for his team or getting those opening kills alongside Dicey being that power entry combo. And he has not really gotten rolling, again, on an agent that requires you to do so to be effective. Uh, and so that's really kind of hand streaming the team uh that early round success also swings both ways because that really doesn't set up Hiko to play his late round play which is why he's also having a struggle individually i imagine in this game uh but that was a good round to win it at least gives you something to work with maybe uh that pacing change we saw last round could be something to keep going for again this is a team that can shift the gears pretty well on what styles they can play they're pretty versatile in that regard and they did mm -hmm. pick up the pace that round it wound up being fruitful um so we'll see how it goes again as once again they're able to get mid control pretty quickly here and they're getting pretty deep over towards defending spawn sentinels are certainly aware of that threat they're they're having players kind of keep an eye on it Sinatra also clears out b lobby in the process with the drone 
It's very slow here. 100 Thieves realize that they have to do their due diligence, clear every single corner, and find their ways in. Natra looking to shut this one down. The door closes. They push on through, and it's back and forth. Now, Dapper, he's got a pretty good track record of locking this B side down oh. and zombs through the smoke, finds Dicey. Again, nothing is free here. 400 Thieves. And they're now down a player here two rounds away from the half. They have a couple of ultimates available. Yeah. The last time we saw the lockdown, it didn't... It, what is it? The, the, it wasn't a very fruitful reward. Yeah, that's oh, fair. And remains. sick, just leave the man alone. He owns tree. I'm sorry. You're not getting it. You're not getting that space. You need to just figure out a new game plan. Sick is on one right now. Steel does eventually strike back with the operator, but time has run too low. He's going to grab the spike and try to hightail it over there, but Shazam will greet him with the operator. And sick cannot be handled this game by 100 Thieves. He has got 16 frags. The only one robbing anyone is sick of you know success of 100 thieves and you kind of pointed it out asuna not really having the best game doing his uh his best sinatra cosplay here in this game i think yeah. one in 11 one in yeah that one in it. 11 going into the half and more importantly sick the last time on a scent against you. envy dropped 20 kills in the entire game he has 16 in just the first half. You see how pivotal that is. Is that dark gets no information? It's a quick push on. Hiko gonna use that hunter fury. Should be able to find the kill. No Zom sneaks away just narrowly and sick on the flank punishes him for it. Zoms will finally fall. That's a one for one across the board. And Sentinels again. They win these situations. The lockdown comes through. It's not in the best spot, but it is gonna be hard to answer. As six still on the flank. Everybody. Looking to disperse so nobody gets detained. It's Sentinels down to the last two as they look to push on. Neural Theft available. I don't think Dapper is really in a position to be able to get it off. No, it's the Bucky from downtown and sick. Last round of the half, 9-3 to three is not too bad. Yeah, a good layered attack from 100 Thieves here on the A site and a great lockdown position that forces your opponent to commit if they're going to be able to break it by actually having to jump in this fight and clear it out underneath heaven or have to wait and play for the retake. And 100 Thieves had the numbers from the jump. So that time they were able to just kind of limit six impact, but that was a rarity as so many rounds with the way of Sentinels. And we'll see if that continues after a short break. Here we go, jumping back into things. Nine to three, the half. A very favorable one for Sentinels as 100 Thieves mount their defense. 
yeah, there wasn't a whole lot going for 100T in that particular half. They got pounded. <laughs> Smashed. And so with the, the sleepy play style that we saw from 100 Thieves, I think this is the best spot for Sentinels because they like to play quick and they can catch yep. these guys off guard. So that's exactly what I'm expecting here towards A. Yeah, I mean, if things go right for them, they could end this game real fast, uh, especially if they can win this pistol round. We do see Dicey and company, though, trying to challenge his tree position with the hot hands, though. It's going to go ahead and push them off and allow Sentinels to start sweeping into a side through door position. Nitro is underneath the balcony. However, he's able to get a frag. That's going to help 100 of these Owls. They're starting to make their rotations over. Bills traded back and forth, though. There's Asuna starting to come online and lock things down underneath heaven. No longer clear as a 3k comes through. Make it 400 thieves in the win column and a very important one at that. Asuna just quadrupled his kills for the game. I yeah. mean, <laughs> yeah. not quite, but you get my point. Like, he has definitely been kind of just in chill mode most of the game, but he's able to pop off this round and have a big quad kill. Maybe that's what he needs to kind of get his mind right. Mm. Asuna is one of the most effective entry fraggers we have in our region. Uh, maybe he doesn't have like the flashiest statistics if you just look at his player page or something like that somewhere uh, in comparison to some of the other big names that we have in our region. But I feel like his ability to play, you know, entry fragger roles, there's really only a couple of other people like him in creating those openings, like a drone, for instance, on TSM or some of the operas that we have on Jet. You know, he, he really can be so impactful when he's on form. And uh, hopefully that's a, a sign that he's you know, starting to come alive as 100 Thieves really need him to get back into this one, you'd have to imagine. Deal with this tried and true there, the Bucky and a close angle. Name a better duo. Just joking as we jump deeper into the Let's not the start action. that again. <laughs> yeah, Dapper gonna try and answer back, but the Spectre comes out on top in the long range battle, the classic from Shazam from downtown to battle back. And that just tells me Sentinels, come on, come on. they're feeling themselves still. Although losing that pistol, they're not giving up just yet. Now, nah, might as well go out swinging here. This is Spike is going to transition back yeah. over through B Lobby. They're looking to lay in on this site, but Nitro is still back remaining. here. Asuna makes his rotation here. through Market, and so now is here. all on Shazam with the Spike and just 34 HP. He's able to go and collect the Bucky inside Link. But, I mean... If closing distance, different story. Spectre now available. He'll swap over to that. And he won't really get a big chance to enjoy using it as Asuna will come up with another multi-frag round. So hopefully for 100 these stake, he is starting to heat up. Again, he was 1 in 11 at one point. Now up to 8 and 12. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, he, he keeps in that direction. 100 these could actually make this game interesting. They're still a ways off of threatening Sentinel's lead, but... They're starting to put those first pieces together at the very least. You got to start somewhere. And those are, you know, some big rounds to claim. This one, although picking up round wins, hurts a little bit. A couple more buckies, which uh, honestly might not be too bad. I thought there was a, a period of time where Steel was opting into buying the mm -hmm. less expensive weapons to eventually try to afford the operator and just give Dicey a bit more room and then possibly trade in the future. So right. I don't know if that's the actual game plan, but a lot of the time we see him yeah. on the Bucky or on the Ares more than anything. Yeah, it's also worth pointing out that this is 100 Thieves' best defensive map, near 67% win rate on the defense on Ascent. It's how they really build a lot of their success, I think. Um, so if they can kind of keep that up, again, they could very well threaten this gap on the scoreboard. And Asuna again! Big frag, talks a couple players in market, is able to get into slight and pop the Empress. But Sentinels strike back with vengeance. They get three quick kills, now left to steal with the Bucky on the site. Pressure coming from multiple directions. The pellets are not landing where they need to. And now it's all on Hiko with his own Bucky well out of position. And while he did find that one, it's still going to be an uphill climb that he's not prepared for. Ten rounds now for Sentinels. The success of 100 Thieves have finally been stamped out now that Sentinels had something to invest into a round. So being the bonus, I don't think you can really say too much, right? You had a whole bunch of Buckies. I, I, unfortunate timing there. Steel was maybe a, a second too early on that first Bucky shot. Probably could have picked up the kill onto Dapper, who was a bit closer. And things obviously don't go his way there. That's tactical shooter timing. But now, what do we see? Defense, 100 Thieves, Operator on Dicey. Rifle's just about across the board. Nitro 
Obviously hanging on to that stinger. I think we start to see Hunter Thieves grabbing it back oh. again. And there it is. Dicey with the op shot up mid. Yeah, Dapper just kind of jump peeking there, trying to bait out a shot, but he got more than he bargained for with that one. A big opening kill there for 100 Thieves right off the jump. We are going to see Sick popping the alt here, trying to put some pressure over towards tree position to help kind of unlock that A site. He doesn't get very far, however, but A is still going to be taken, but 100 Thieves have main advantage for this retake as they're starting to set up their utility to start popping in here. They're going to be able to attack from all routes, really. Door, they have a flank coming through lobby. They're obviously positioned at A Heaven as well, so... They're going to have everything at their disposal. Lear traded for the Paranoia. There's the flank from Steel. Able to find one still low HP on the rest. But Shazam finds two. The odds have since been evened. And Sentinels are holding it down on this A site with the spike planted. The flash just come through. Steel will fall. Dicey Operator in hand needs to try and get something done. They're running out of time. 100 Thieves working against the clock. The dash onto the site. Shazam with 30 HP and sick to close it out. That was 100 Thieves' most important round. And it goes the way of Sentinels. Yeah, indeed it does. It started out so well for them to get that opening pick to be so well set up for the retake. But then Shazam breaks through with two key he kills to get control of the door and into tree and cut off one of the routes of the retake as well as get advantage back for his team on the man count. Those two kills from Shazam were the X factor of the round. So pivotal. And as you said, 100 Thieves' chances of coming back here on Ascent have really shrunken. They're going to have to go into this round just share it, just to make sure they can full buy next round. And by that point, Sentinels are very likely be on that point, and they'll have to win seven in a row to force an overtime. So this is looking quite grim if you're a fan of the 100T squad. Put down. So we are going to see the drone coming in here, clearing out some space. No more Sova. Big kill from Steel with the Sheriff on the Sinatra. Spare like we lost Tanner, so I'll just kind of keep taking over. We'll get him back here hopefully shortly as we do have a four on four situation right now. A site being threatened by. The Sentinels and Sick will get in and shut down the door. Smoke up as well towards Tree. Smoke on the main archway here. Slowing down the attack a bit. Still trying to slide out with the Sheriff, but he's found out by Shazam's Phantom. And so again, Matt Point is lingering here. There's only three members left from 100 Thieves to contest right now as the spike is going to get planted. Shock darts being launched in by Hiko to try to get some chip damage to potentially set up the retake. And indeed, he has actually found out six. So all of a sudden, the door is creaking open just a bit, but there's some great positioning by Sentinels, by Tree Room. It's all going to come down to timing as Nitro actually is able to slip in behind there and take out Dapper. All of a sudden, the chances are looking pretty good, but Zom's trying his best to shut it down. Great kill, great paranoia, but now he's all alone. Two players on the site. Help dwindling, but Zom's up to the task. Anyhow, two great kills with the Vandal. He may have been silent at times for his team, but he comes out shot on that time. That's going to put Sentinels to match point. And so this might very well be the end here for 100 Thieves on Ascent. Sentinels just need one more. They're going to get seven chances to do it. And at least they can put their best foot forward this round, Tanner. At least they're going to be able to have the Operator on Dicey. And they're going to be able to have four rifles elsewhere also. I missed an entire round. But Dust, I appreciate you carrying that one. Some Welcome, internet brother. issues. Dude, they, they cut me offline. They didn't want me... To, uh, to give this one the way of Sentinels, which is exactly where it is headed. Now, if I repeat anything that you said, I apologize because I didn't hear anything you said as we jump back. Match point right here on Ascent. And again, to kind of harp back to before the game even started, this is 100 Thieves needed to win. It's slow to start things off, but Sentinels so far in the driver's seat. Yeah, I mean, it would take a crazy effort for 100 Thieves to steer this one back the right way. Again, they're very good defensively on Ascent on average, so this is the side they would do it from, if ever. But, I mean, just such a tall mountain to climb. You have to imagine they have to be perfect just to get the overtime. 
We're going to see Sick putting that pressure on Tree Room. The smoke going to be able to help him get towards that doorway. But they're also still got the spike in middle with no commitment. So they can still split either direction. And now they have an opening pick on Steel. And that's the player that's typically anchored on that B site. So a bit of information that maybe at the very least only one playing over this direction. An aggressive posture over towards A, and that's nothing. Asuna is finding nothing over there just yet, playing in line. Now looking oh to come my. through with this team, but Sick breaks the glass and takes Dicey down. Asuna is able to come online for a kill, but it's 100 Thieves backs against the wall. But Asuna doing everything in his power to make sure that that spike does not go down. It was all up to Shazam, but across the board, everybody will fall and 100 Thieves stay in it. It's so crazy how quickly the tides turned in that round. It was looking so good initially when they got that opening pick on Steel, and Sick was able to make his play up into A Heaven, but Asuna was able to absorb that pressure and push into A Lobby and use that as kind of an anchor point to be able to keep striking back when Sentinels decided to commit on A site. And he was able to have a big round up to 12 and 15 when he was once 1 and 11. So, again, he's had quite the recovery as a player. And that's made the world of difference for 100 Thieves to, you know, mm -hmm. at least keep themselves Get in this contest. Way. They're still oh, oh, well away from really threatening Sentinel's lead. But it's starting to build at least a little bit here. They're starting to take those first steps forward. Zam, unfortunately, not going to find anything going up top there with the knives out. And... As we took a peek at that scoreboard, the kill feed is almost the same across the board. Minus Sick being so far ahead of everybody. You negate that player. Maybe this game looks a bit differently for 100 Thieves, but that is the magic of Sick. He just comes online and you just can't stop him. Now, a nice split to make sure nobody creeps on through A main. The spike's still down towards B and Sentinels, again, just like the last round, using all the time they have. Yeah, trying to get that opening pick at A off the jump with Shazam's alt. Didn't find anything, and now they're just kind of creeping all around the map. But now they're starting to shift the focus back heavily towards A side. All players will be looking to push this direction. There are three defenders in the area. Of course, the op is on site to torch trees. Shazam going to try to lead the charge with the run it back. Great run it back. They're closing distance on this opper. Big time. Shazam's pushing all the way in. He misses the daggers. And then gets shorty. My goodness. 100 Thieves. That's such a break. But Sinos are at least striking back. Oh, the shorty not good for another there. But almost a huge turnaround. And now it's down to the last two here. IGL and co-IGL for 100 Thieves. To try and keep their life alive here on Ascent. The lockdown goes through the turret to follow it's not a very hardy lockdown there's a lot of yeah. space to play with but there is a flank nitro playing far off the site here out towards me now running out of time as they look to push through the smoke it's all up to nitro full health on the omen paranoia goes through he's able to find that first kill onto sick another smoke to follow the shrouded step right inside where he's going to meet his maker dapper with the 3k and sentinels up 1-0 yeah, again, if there's ever any concern that Sentos might be mentally out of it after a grueling series against Envy, I think all those concerns can be very much shooed away as they came out swinging here on Descent. Just an absolutely dominating performance there. I think you have to, first of all, give credit where credit's due for the sick. He yep. ruled that defensive side, bro. Whatever he wanted to do, he did it, got away with yeah. it, and then some. Whether it was getting kills in middle by aggressing cat or flanking, whatever the case may be, the guy was absolute money. Uh, he had great support from his team, obviously. Everyone was really playing well. Just everything seemed to be on point on their defense. They didn't give anything up. Uh, then when they needed to settle in and take care of us on the second half, they never really struggled too much. Like, yeah, sure, 100 Thieves had a couple of rounds here and there, made it interesting, but nothing really to speak of uh, consistently, right? I mean, it was just, uh, a sh I mean, 25 kills from Sick. That's all it needs to be said. Most first bloods in the server by a pretty good margin. Um, just so much impact, man. And then Shazam was right there. Dapper was right there. I mean, they, they, they were really getting full value out of pretty much their entire lineup. So, yeah, very, very good performance from them. It was everybody firing on all cylinders for Sentinels and then Sick just so far ahead. And it kind of, to go back to that point of Sick doing whatever he wants, there was a round where he got a kill towards bottom of Cat, flanked all the way around and then picked up two kills from top of Cat. Like he was just doing anything that he wanted in that game. And that round really resonated with me 
And just to prove that point, that sick is one of the players to watch. And that here. was a hundred thieves pick, by the way. Yeah. So, and I mean, don't get me wrong; they're pretty fluent on our next map, Haven. But Sentinels mm. are like the kings of Haven. So, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. This is probably gonna be lineups galore between both of the Sentinels <laughs> duking it out here. We'll see if it is gonna be Sinatra on that Sova, or not Sentinel Sovas, excuse me, and Hiko going toe to toe here. This could be it. Tournament life on the line here. The winner will qualify should Sentinels pick up a 2-0 in this one. They are in Masters and 100 Thieves has to try again. Guys, we are going to jump away for a quick break. And when we come back, map number two, we're headed to Haven. It's I feel like I need to defend my scene's honor here <laughs> uh, because this is just turning into a bit of a dog battle. Like in groups always look. <laughs> I, 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 I'm cutting said, you off. Here. Cutting you off. Cutting you off. He said G2 is winning. Oh, he said G2 is winning. Need to wait till the next EU tournament, which could be in about ten years now. <laughs> Take it with like a grain of salt. No, but that's that no being fun. said, Take it super literally. <laughs> Spike diffused. Oh baby, contrast stitching. Curves that will hug your body. Adjustable arms. Custom embroidery. Memory foam pillows. Changeable color inserts. Lay flat recline. Removable logos. Soft, durable material. Yeah. You like what you see, baby? Zip chair. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing! Wow. 